Welcome to another episode of This Happened Here. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you true and captivating stories from all over the United States and beyond. We aim to delve deep into the minds of our characters and present their stories from their unique perspectives. For those who prefer to listen to our stories on the go, we offer a podcast version that you can enjoy while driving, commuting, or relaxing in your comfy chair. You can find the link to our podcast in the description below, as well as on our website, somestoriesofmind.com. If you enjoy our stories, we'd love for you to show your support by subscribing to our website, YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Your support means everything to us. Now buckle up and let's hit the road. In last week's video, we came upon something strange. My phone picked up a difference in the sound on Kentucky Route 66 versus the sound from outside of it. Not even the sound of the cars driving by could be heard over the distortion. If you haven't watched that video, see the card above or find it in my description below. But until then, here is that difference again. First before 66. Now on 66. I brought this up because we think we found one possible explanation for this. What we found blew our minds because we were unaware that something like this existed and extended even to my home state of Tennessee. This phenomena has even been investigated by NASA. What we found has not only brought about more questions but could be one of the possible causes of people going missing in Kentucky and all the other strange occurrences that have happened there. More after this. I am your host, LT Bartek. This was not what we were planning to highlight in this video, but we came across this oddity when we did our research for why a number of ships had sunk to the bottom of the Ohio River in Maysville. While researching the expanded Kentucky Bermuda Triangle and the more specific Maysville Bermuda Triangle, we found the answer to the distorted sound captured in our last video and the reason why the drone was acting as if it had a mind of its own. Now this should make me feel as if problem solved, but no, it didn't. It is now more like, what the heck? But before we get into that, does this place look familiar to you? If it does, well, this is the same road we took to the Red River Gorge, where we talked about some of the many tragedies that happened there, not knowing that this area was also part of the Kentucky Bermuda Triangle. If you want to see that video, click the link above, and I will also put it in the description below. That one was very interesting and one of my highest viewed videos. Looking back, this finding might also be an explanation as to why there were so many tragedies at the Red River Gorge. Anyway, last week we traveled to Kentucky to see the locations where six people have gone missing and where two skulls were found having washed down the river after heavy rains. Now, what we believe caused the distortion of my sound was found in an article titled Unusual Kentucky. The link is in the description below. That started our research. 
in that article it states that magsat which means magnetic field satellite measured and i quote a very prominent magnetic anomaly over the eastern mid-continent of the United States. It is inferred to have a source region beneath Kentucky and Tennessee. Prominent aeromagnetic and gravity anomalies are also associated with the inferred source region." End of quote. What that means in simpler terms is that there is a big magnetic abnormality over a specified area in the middle part of the United States. It seems to come from underground, somewhere under Kentucky and Tennessee. This abnormality is also connected to other noticeably differences in the Earth's magnetic field and gravity in that same underground area. And from NASA, this was found in a paper written by an undergrad, and I quote, a crustal model constructed to fit these abnormalities interpreted the complex as a large mafic plutonic intrusion of Precambrian age. The complex was named the Kentucky body. Simplified, this means that there is a big underground formation made of dense dark colored rock from 541 million years ago and this is what they call the Kentucky body. So this magnetic anomaly under the states of Kentucky and Tennessee and more prominently in the region of Somerset, which is ground zero for the Kentucky anomaly within this triangle, was what made my phone act as an electronic device would when placed beside a strong magnet. I place a magnet beside a radio and the sound that it made was very similar to what we heard that day. Some are saying this magnetic anomaly might also be the cause of some of the strange happenings in the area. Now how did this come to be? I say nature. But in 1986, residents of Redbird and Oneida said they saw unidentified flying objects. They told the Manchester Enterprise that these UFOs were large and square in shape and had a red light. It hovered for a while in the air and then made a few passes back and forth. A forest ranger by the name of Roosevelt Spurlock told the newspaper that it was the scariest thing he had ever seen. He also said it emitted a high-pitched whistling noise. Were they there to find their lost magnetic ship? I don't know. Then there is another Kentuckian who claims to have pieces of a spaceship and the petrified skull of an alien in what he calls his Alien Grave Drive in Burnside. Could this also be an explanation for those missing people in the area? What do you think? But can they also be the cause for the numerous ships that have sunk into the Ohio River and other strange things that have happened there? Let me know what you think in the comments. Judy, one of my viewers, has also offered up another explanation for the missing people. She states that moonshiners live in the hills and a number of people have unknowingly entered that part of the woods and have never returned. She charged us to be careful, fill your gas tanks up, and check your tires before driving in that area, especially at night. I concur. Thanks for that, Judy P. All in all, there is something strange happening in, in them, their hills. And I don't think I am the person to find out. Good luck to you if you want to check that out. Hey, have you subscribed yet? In subscribing, it gives you the best opportunity to come with us when we travel around the US and other countries to find you true, amazing, frightening, and very interesting stories. If you also like these stories and find them interesting, don't forget to tap that like button. It lets YouTube know that others will also find it interesting as well and push it a little more. And you can do that too by sharing it with others who you think will like it as well. 
Now on to this week's main story. Maysville. Maysville is a sleepy little town nestled on the border of Kentucky and Ohio, USA. In 1787, they named the town after John May. He was a surveyor, clerk, and landowner. So May is last name and everywhere else is Ville here. So Maysville. Maysville pulls you in with its quaint streets and homes that look as if they are still trapped in a bygone era and people who seem to live with not a care in the world. When other towns would be bustling on a beautiful Saturday afternoon like this, this little town is quiet, but not empty. There are still a few people walking around and we can see and hear small groups of people laughing and having fun in the distance. But what a lot of people don't know about this tiny town, including me, is that it holds a secret that not many outside of Maysville know about. It is not that Maysville played a crucial role as a crossing point for enslaved people from Kentucky who sought freedom in the neighboring free states of Ohio and ultimately Canada. Though Maysville played a significant part in one of the most well-known and intense escapes by enslaved individuals in Kentucky's history before the Civil War, that is not it nor that there is a wall built to safeguard the city that was once completely flooded. No. Far beneath the tranquil surface lies something even more dangerous. It is called the Maysville Bermuda Triangle. There is not much evidence of the many strange things deep below the surface of this section of the higher river because it sucks everything down to its dark depth. But we did come across a site where there is still evidence of carcasses of ships that have been pulled below only because these ships are sitting on top of each other due to rescue attempts. Could this be the gravitational pull that NASA and MagSat think it is? Or could it be something else wrecking these ships and pulling them under? This is what happened in one incident. The mysterious events of Maysville Bermuda Triangle started in 1992 when a barge sank near the Kentucky shoreline in West Maysville, Kentucky. In 1994, a salvage operation was carried out to raise the sunken barge using two Navy minesweepers. However, these minesweepers also got stuck in the mud, becoming additional victims of the strange phenomena. A towboat that attempted to free the minesweepers also fell prey to the Bermuda Triangle when its engines got damaged, leaving it unable to move. The salvage barge called the Hercules then met a similar fate, as it too succumbed to the forces of the Maysville Bermuda Triangle. As it was lifting the original barge, the crane on the Hercules broke, causing the barge to sink again. Subsequently, the Hercules itself sank, ending up on top of the very barge it was supposed to rescue. Eventually, the minesweepers and the towboat also sank. The entire salvage operation, known as John Beatty's Navy after its owner, was unfortunately claimed by what an Army Corp of Engineers spokesperson later referred to as the Bermuda Triangle of Ohio River. So as each boat went to rescue the other, they sank, sat on top of the other, sat on top of the other. Town folks understand to let this be, but some think it's an eyesore. But none will risk their ships to try and move these sunken ships for fear of also becoming victims of the river. These are all indeed strange things. Have any of you heard about this? If so, tell me what you think. 
I don't know about you, but this was indeed strange and very interesting to me. And like I said before, this is where my curiosity ends. I will not be trying to figure this out. I am not that brave, but it does makes me wonder. Are there other spots beyond this river that can and have also pulled people and things under? I'm not trying to spur fear here, but this just causes one to think about these things, you know? Going there, one is safe enough. We traveled there and back safely, so there is not much fear of that happening. But as a horror and fiction writer, my mind does conjure up these things. But Maysville is interesting indeed. Check it out for yourself. Anyway, that will do for now. You take care of yourself and be safe out there. Remember to love yourself and others. Like, comment, and share all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Love you. Bye.